Hello everyone, um, I'm Mercy Jato. I'm an ENT surgeon and a clinical researcher at the University College Hospital in Bagon in Nigeria. I would like to share a bit of my work with you on Now Listen. Welcome back. It has been so Thank wonderful you. to connect with you and to learn about the work. Also very instructive to hear more about what you're doing in hearing health and your research. So for this last episode, I just want to take some time to chat a little bit about any future directions in research that you see as forthcoming and any partnerships that perhaps you would consider vital to advancing the field of ear and hearing care. So on that note, do you have any future research planned? Yes, I have a few of them planned. Um, as I said, my special area of interest is otology um, and pediatrics. It's dear to my heart um, because as you've mentioned during the course of the interview, quite a number of the otological diseases that children suffer from, hearing loss in particular, in developing country setting, such as mine, they are preventable. So I'm quite interested in it. Um, there's a study um, I started, um, did a part of the study a few years ago on um, meningitis and hearing loss. Um, I still want to continue in that direction, effective, um, preventable hearing loss in children. So I have a few lined up. Another group of um, patients I'm interested in is in the geriatric groups, that means the older people. Um, I also have a few research lined up in that direction. Stay tuned, you will hear about them soon. Um, I'm hoping to collaborate. Um, House Institute Foundation is a good partner. Uh, I would tell you about them in details when I'm ready to go ahead with the study. Um, I'm also applying for several grants, working with a few people. Oh, I forgot to mention, one of the things that we've been doing in the hospital is um, neonatal hearing screening. And we've done a few thousand uh, babies in the last few years. Um, so we're putting together what we find, found, our findings, to launch what's the way forward, make recommendations to our hospital, the state, the region, you know, the government on suggestions, what we can do to also help in this, in this regards. So some things are coming up. Um, I'm sure you will hear about them very soon, very, very, very soon. It sounds like you have your work cut out for you here. I know, I know, I know, but uh, it's interesting. It, I think it's worth it. So, in general, are there any future directions in research on sort of a big dream research scale that you see coming up or would like to see being more feasible to conduct? And yes, how can organizations like the House Institute Foundation or larger grant makers support and partner in this effort? Um, for example, um, the research on chronic separative otitis media. Uh, this is just a part of the research we're carrying out, this clinical trials, treatment. I also want to focus on prevention. How can we prevent this from occurring in the first place before we start talking of treatment? Um, I'm hoping to carry out research on the genetics of chronic separative otitis media come from that direction. I'm also looking at micronutrients and things like that. Is it possible that these etiological factors have a major role to play? And if we modulate these factors, is it possible that we can prevent chronic separative otitis media? Why are some people more prone to it and some others not so prone to it? Because we've seen from studies and even from this research, most of the children with this um, problem come from low social economic class. So could it be they are lacking some micronutrients? Could, you, could they be lacking some organism, um, some vitamins? Could it be they are exposed to certain things that make them prone to developing this condition? So I, I, if, if I have enough funds, I hope to carry out a grand scale research, multi-center, multi-region, at least in Nigeria, to find out what are the risk factors per se and how can we modify them? How can we prevent this from happening? You know, I, I think that's, that's more, in the long run, it's more beneficial than treating a condition if you can prevent it. 
So yeah, th that's my dream research. Thank you so much, Dr. Giotto, for sharing about your work. Thank you for the difference that you're making. It has been an absolute pleasure to connect with you uh, and learn more. <laughs> Thank you for watching our video. You can support research like that of Dr. Giotto's, as well as other programs run by the House Institute Foundation in Education and Global Health by following us on social media, and more importantly, going to hipla.org slash donate to give a gift today. Together, we can create a world where everyone has access to the ear and hearing care they need.